Okay, so we're going to work on the harmonics on the Beagle song. Um, we're working on the first one with the 12. So we're on the 12th fret. You're, the tone and everything was going well. It's just the timing of it. So the timing will be 4, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. That's the full section there. Without me counting it. Okay, so the, I'm playing it faster than you need to play, but that, that's, that's the gist of it. Um, when you play it on the fifth fret, so version two, uh, it's a little bit different. It'll be uh, over here. Four, one, two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. Okay, I won't talk this time. This one, on the fifth fret, I find it easier to use a different finger, so I'm going to try a little different. That's what you would want. Um, the, fifth, the fifth fret is really, really hard. You may find that once you have it memorized, you'll be a little bit better. You can look at, the, you can look at your left hand and get it better. It just feels better. You can get right on that fret a little bit closer. Because remember, any, if you're a little off on that fifth fret, it's going to sound terrible. Um, but just make sure the timing is right for now, and you can get it in your head how it's supposed to sound, and then you can start looking at your left hand. Okay? Um, okay, now also the bending. So what we were doing last time um, was just trying to get the hang of actually getting the bend to happen, and you did fine with that. What I want to work on here is bending it and then just kind of stopping and not hearing it come back down. Okay? As long as you're not hearing, you know what I mean, you'll be okay. It's just kind of releasing the tension from the wood and coming back down. Even if you hear a little, com little bit coming down, that's okay. You're trying to get just enough and pushing this way towards your face, um, and you can put a finger behind it and it makes it a little bit easier. The one I really want you to work on is the second line, second measure. And the first uh, tenth fret bend is bending up. I want you to keep it down because the next one is bending it back down. So you're pushing into the wood and holding it. Keep pushing into the wood and bringing it back down. You have an open G in between each one. So you have an open G, bend, hold it, okay, and you can repeat it. So you can get the hang of it. If you can do it over and over and over again, that will help you out. So the idea is that you're bending it up and you're holding it while pushing into the wood and then pulling it back down. Okay, that should do it. I mean, as, as long as you're working on transitioning from one measure to the other, you should have this ver first version done um, a little bit more comfortably this week. Just focus on going from one measure with, the, with one position with the chord into the next measure, and then when that feels good, do the next one. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, good job.